Let's see if we can swing at least a couple more times. Perfect. Dope! All right, now let's repair. Whew! <laughs> Sometimes forget about that, huh? All right, grab that. What have you got, Gabo? <laughs> Look at this dude's face! <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face from over here! Oh, I miss the Gobbo Queen! Oh, her great heaving bosom! Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Oblivion. Oh, Black hi there. Isn't oh. So bad. <laughs> We're here in to the... the Roxy Roxy Inn? We've uh, we've been out here before, didn't we have to? Yeah, we had to do something at uh, Moss Rock Cavern, clear out something out of there. But uh, we're back here because we have another side miscellaneous quest uh, somewhere up here. Let me check my notes. Yeah, northeast of Fort Chalman, which I guess we'll knock out, right? May as well. We got to head on over there as well. But for now, you'll notice, look, we got a level in between videos. I went and totally did a bunch of stuff, uh, leveled up hand-to-hand, -hand, which we had uh, diminished, uh, I believe, mysticism as well, and restoration. Got those back up to a hundo, which has and got us bizarre. another level. What can I do for you today? Let's buy out a room here tonight. Here, also I have five hundo. There we are. And a There's bed. There's a bed of a sort. Of a sort. It ain't much, but it gets the job done. Ten gold a night if you're interested. Malene, what do you think I'm going to do in that room? I'll take it if it gets it's the upstairs, job done. It's second door on the left. Don't say I didn't warn you. What? Have we bought a room from them before? Thank you for saving That sounds vaguely business. familiar. I won't forget it. Huh. All right. Was this it? Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, here. Over here. Oh, sorry. Sorry. There we are. Bedroll, and we'll just take a one hour snooze. Enough for a level. There we go. Good. 51. Boom. Perfect. One more level to fucking go. Holy shit. Oh my god, and we'll finally be capped out for our attributes. Still we'll need uh, to see you. a little bit more to do as far as what do you call is concerned, right? As far as maxing out all of our skills. But, eh, we got plenty of time for that. Anyway, let us head on out over here. Let's see. Also, illusion is still low. So I'm using uh, our shittier illusion spell, because... We'll probably end up getting it up uh, to maximum by doing all this rigmarole, right? Okay. Where is Prior Mabel? Is Prior Mabel out here? No. Huh. Where are you, Prior Mabel? Oh, God. <laughs> Prior Mabel, you better not be fucking dead. You better have wandered off somewhere else. Jesus Christ. All right. Let's head on out over this way. Let's see. This is the correct direction, right? Yeah, okay. Fort Chalman. We may as well just walk over there. We'll get this done. We got a couple of those fantastic master trainer quests on the docket. Let's see, which ones do we actually have? Hand to hand and athletics. We should definitely check in on athletics in case it's like, oh my gosh, how about you just walk 500 steps for me right here and then you'll have completed my master athletics training challenge. Jesus. All right, head on over this way. So far, what have the athletics perks even been? Has, is one of them the, the dodge roll, or was that acrobatics? I feel like that was acrobatics. I'm not really sure what the athletics bonuses have been. Alright, let's see. What do we got on this chest? Repair hammers and torches. Huh. Weird. Okay. Oh, shit. Someone did not like that. Oh, there you are. There we go. Take care of you. Good. Yep. Eat shit. Fly into the sky. All right, fly so high. What have you got? Bone meal, yoink. And good. Let's also top ourselves off. There we are, yeah, it's good to have that high-ranking heal again, right? Let's see, look, a common soul gem, some gold. Huh, maybe the, the skeletons were trying to soul trap themselves or something. Weird. Uh, strong poison to confusion, cure paralysis, couple of petty soul gems, flawed topaz, a little bit of gold. All right, anything else over here? It doesn't look like it. Okay, cool. Let's head on down. We should mark this as done. We've also aggroed something. There we go. Good. Fort Chalman. Or Kalman? Uh oh. Alright. And where's this? Oh, it's a Minotaur, dude. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Take care of you. Easy. And yoink. Dope. Alright. Anything over here? Oh, look. Is this a butt? No. All right, what have we got in your chest, though? Flawed Pearl, 
five gold. And, nope, just a little something something. How about this Minotaur? Rip off the horn. There we go. All right, cool. Fort Chalman, probably a bunch of fucking beasts, right? Who knows? Maybe we'll stumble into something amazing, right? You never know. That's one of the uh, interesting things in Skyrim, right? More and more dungeons, thanks to the Radiant questing, a lot of them can end up having things associated with them, right? Even if you just stumble in there. Hmm. Or at least that's my recollection of it. Maybe I'm completely mistaken in how that worked. And also a lot more of the dungeons did have purposes, right? There were fewer ones that were uh, specifically just random-ass dungeons, right? Or maybe I'm... Eh, I don't know. I can't remember. It's been a while. Oh. We'll have to refresh our memory. Some way. Oh, God. Oh, God. There we go. Got you. And let's do something there. Throw out the perp. Gotcha. Oh, good God. Oh, there we are. Good. Cool. All right. What have you got? Bone meal? Yes, please. All right. What have we got? Oh, this is a relatively small one. What have we got in here? Anything good? 66 gold. Not really. Okay. Let's take a look at our local map. Oh, no, okay, yeah, it goes somewhere else over here. Huh. All right, yeah, through this. Good, good, good. And what we got? Charisma, cure disease. Eh. Do a quick heal. Got some zombos. Oh, shit! Some swanging balls as well. Dodge right past them. All right. What have we got? More... Some fucking undead, actually. Yeah, this place is, uh, on the outside, a bunch of beasties, right? But on the inside, a bunch of zombos and shit, right? Got the undead fire, huh? If, yeah, if there is a, a fire, we, we know the orange candles definitely mean someone's up to no good. This? Sign of the undead, apparently. Huh. Weird. Alright. Maybe it's what changes the color of the fog or something as well. Who can say? Alright. Anything over here? No, there is a doorway. Um, any butts? No. Alright. And let's head on in through here. Yeah, this place is bigger than, than I thought, huh? May even be another... Yep, another... No, okay, maybe not yet. There may still be another deeper area. Oh, shit, one of these fucking guys? Here, let's save. <laughs> Just in case. There we go. Just in case we were wrong in our calculation of, uh... Yeah, this is a plain lich, which means we could get fucked up. But it seems like the answer is no, we are completely invincible. Oh, that's so good! Oh my gosh. All right, what have you got for me? Anything dope? Bone meal. Eh, take the staff, though. The staff is... That's worth something, huh? All right. And what have we got in here? Minor Magicka Drain, Grand Soul Gem, 720 Gs. All right. Anything back behind this, hidden around? Nah. Okay. Fair, fair. Let's see, anything else? No. Hmm. Oh, we got a little secret chest. Daedric Gauntlets. Fuck, I'll take it. Worth something. All right. And how about in here? Good. What have we got? Are all undead associated with Molag Bal? Like, we know vampires who, I guess, are considered undeath, right? They're considered beings of undeath. Aren't they? I don't know. Huh. I'm not sure. Because if... Hmm. If vampires are considered beings of undeath, what, what would you even say, like... Like, the the idea of curing vampirism, then, would be some wild-ass shit, right? You can cure undeath? I'm not sure. But are all undead associated with Molag Bal? I don't think so. Who would they all be associated with? I'm not sure. Huh. Yeah, I have no idea. Just necromancy in general? Like, Daedra don't really have any aspect of undeath, do they? I don't know, maybe Molag Bal does. I'm just tripping balls, I just don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, look at this. Oh, jeez. They got a whole bunch of chains here, some kinky shit going on. Alright, let's see, we marked that as done, so now we need to head northeast into this text here. Which, you know what, makes sense. Oh, is, could it be one of these? Maybe we've already been to this place. Let's see, what's the name of the place we're looking for? Harm's Folly. Okay, yeah, I guess we haven't been there, which makes sense. Where There's definitely a bit of... An area here where there's room for something to appear. Alright. Oh, gosh. Is that a chest? No, that is a gravestone. Okay, fair enough. 
head on up an array all the way over here, up these nice little hills. Oh, oh look, I can see some fire in the dark. Oh, what is that? Is that like a little bandit camp? Maybe that's the place we're looking for. Huh, is this it? Let's see. Oh shit, got some fucking gobos. Exhausted mine. Oh, fuck me. Jeez. All right. Ow. Oh, God. All right, all right, let's get Gordon out. Get the paralysis at the ready. Oh my God, look at him go. <laughs> he was like imploding on himself. All right, oh jeez, look at this. All right, we're just gonna have to swing swang at this gobo. Gobo <laughs> God. Oh shit. Oh God, all right, here we go. And let's take care of the gobo. Ah, there we are. Good lord. Fucking mountain lion, my ass. All right. Let's see. Juice up with some blue. Need some more perp. There we are. Take care of him. Good. Wow, look at him go. He's like doing some sort of wild flailing attack. Ran out of pee pee. This old gobbo's got no pee pee left. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, jeez. Can we finish him off? Maybe. Maybe. Let's refresh the perp. <clears throat> Come on, Gordon, finish him off. Finish him off, Gordon. Yeah, that's a good shit. All right. Juice up there, Queen Berry. Mountain Lion, eat a butt. There we go. Easy. All right. Cool. Whew. Been a while since we fought some gobos, huh? Let's see. What do they got? Mithril shields. Eee. Some gobbo garbo. All right. Anything else around here? No. Okay, we can come back and check this mine later, right? If anything, it might even be tied to the quest that we're going to pick up around here, just like last time, remember? Have a quest that's tied to sort of the local area. Tends to be the case with these miscellaneous quests, right? You wouldn't expect a little miscellaneous quest that you happen upon to just send you halfway across the map, right? Side quest, sure, but like a little, little who's a what's it like this? Oh, here we go. Harm's Folly. Oh. Oh, it's a nice little farm. What are you growing here? Leeks. Tomatoes. Potatoes. Carrots. Oh. Let's just grab some of these. Grab some tomatoes. There we go. Some of these carrots. Oh, I love carrots. They go great in soups. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Got some leeks as well. There we are. I've never actually eaten a leek in my entire life. And you know what? I'll be glad to die having never tasted one. <laughs> I hate them! <laughs> there we go. Grab some of these. Good. Alright, fantastic. Oh, hey, what's up? Are you the quest giver here? What's going on? Please, I implore you, help me avenge my wife's death. Alright, sure. Avenge. Barely a week ago, I left Harm's Folly to go buy supplies as I usually do once a month. What a fool I was to leave my wife alone. What a fool. The goblins must have been watching me as they knew right when to strike. I could hear Kayleen's screams from far away. Those wretched beasts killed her. Filthy animals. Had I only been there to stop them. Jeez, all right, maybe I've already killed them. I'm sorry, Quark. how can I help? I also like, I was such a fool to leave my wife alone. She's so helpless, she can't do anything. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Quark. Northwode. Uh, how can I help? I'll tell you how you can help. Kill those things, every last one of them. They destroyed everything I hold dear. Oh. In their greed, the creatures grabbed a jade amulet off of Kayleen's body. Bring me back Why'd that you amulet like so that? I may use it to remember her by. Ugh. Did the goblins actually kill her or do something else? What the fuck? Why'd he say it like that? All right. Exhausted mine is not far to the southwest. Be careful. Its many twists and turns hide the goblin hordes. Yo, man, you got a pretty fucking nice mace there. All right. Is this a... Uh... Oh, Kayleen Northwode. Oh. All right. Oh, well, let's head on inside his house real quick here. See what he's got. I mean, hey, you know what? He doesn't need as much stuff, right? His wife, his poor wife is long gone. Toast. Killed by the Gabo Horde. Look at this. Got some fucking delicious leeks. Oh my god, I love them. I eat them daily. All right. What's, <laughs> what's in the drawers? Nothing. Bunch of overturned stuff. Smashed in crate. Maybe that's where she died. She got fucked up around these crates and, like, treasure chests when the goblins came in. She, like, slung them across the room at them in self-defense, but the gobbo horde did not stop. 
They were not abated. There we go. Leek, lettuce. I guess, do gabos not eat fruit or veg? I guess not, right? Because you'd think it would be way easier for the gabos to just come in and straight up steal all their... all their crops out there, right? Rather than actually killing someone to eat them. Or whatever the fuck they were doing. Oh god, maybe they do eat fruit and veg. Alright. Let's head on out. There we go. And pop this open. Fucking dark! Fucking getting dark! Oh my god, I'm in a terrible mood. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright. Anything else around here? No. Alright. Well, since we know we're definitely doing this quest, let's mark that as done. And exhausted mine as well while we're at it. Cool. Dope. Getting shit, uh, checked off the map here, huh? Alright. Let's see. <coughs> so far, we haven't had any <sighs> of these side quests or whatever send us to locations that we've already cleared out, right? Yeah. Get some of these. Some nice little shrooms. Miss out on a few of them. What can you do? Top ourselves off. Good stuff. All right. Man, where'd we leave? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I was about to say, where'd we leave this uh, location? Get some bowmen. Oh, God. You think that's her? No, because we would find uh, the necklace, right? Man, they've been killing people from all over the place. No wonder the rock Roxy Inn, Roxy Inn is doing poorly. <laughs> Everyone there is getting killed by these gabos. All right. Let's see. Gabos, be gone. There we are. Eat shit. Good stuff. All right. And let's, uh, no, we, uh, we, uh, let's do it. All right. Cool. And let's see here. Do we need to throw anything on there? No. We'll just smack a crab real quick. And torn sack of grain. Nothing. Let's see. What have you got? Staff of silence. Weak potion of agility. And hard. What have you got for me? Let's see. Nine Gs. Eh. Crate full of calipers. All right. Barrel full of tongs. Hourglass as well. All right. Man, they got a lot of goblin shamans up in here, huh? Shit. Also very Ow. resistant, aren't they? And let's juice up. Good. Oh. Jesus, this rat will not quit. All right. There you go. Eat a butt. And we all need a juice up, right? Yeah, these gabos are worth uh, grand souls, aren't they? All right. They must uh, all scale up similar to the ogres that we frequently fight. Top ourselves off here. And what have you got for me in this? Hourglass? Yeah, we checked that one, huh? All right. Come hither, creamy man. Let us delve deeper. Unless we not get twisted and turned around in this labyrinthine mine. Oh my goodness. Watch out for the goblin horde. It could be around any corner. Oh shit. <laughs> oh god. Really fucking firing away here. Alright. Good. And do we need to juice up? No, we're, we got plenty of juice. Alright. There we go. Good timing. And dope. Good. Eat shit, gobbos! Ugh. Jeez. All right, there we are. Juicing up again. Oh, God. Gobble Warlord. Powerful as hell. There we are. But not powerful enough. Eat shit. All right, let's see. Let's grab their stuff real quick, because we're getting a little bit of ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> Good job, creamy man. All right. Staff of Ruin. Strong Potion of Healing. Yoink. All good stuff. Okay. Are these actually exhausted, or is that... Yeah, they've... <laughs> in Cyrodiil, fucking silver and stuff, it just grows back. Works like Welkin stones. That shit, it all comes back. All right. Once a month, in fact. <laughs> it's canon. It's not just for the sake of game mechanics. All the all the shit grows back once a month. It's tied to, like, the magical nature of Nern. Plants and stuff, they always grow back on a certain schedule. Good lord. Just to the T. All right. Grab all this. And let's heal ourselves up. Take care of this Crabulon. How's our juice looking? It's juice up. Why not? There we are. Good. And what have we got in here? Barrel full of foodstuffs. Cool. All right. And how about in here? Chest. Lockpick. Ebony arrows. We'll leave the arrows. F them. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, this guy did allude to the fact that this may be a humongous place. All right, exhausted mine. Deeper and deeper we go. All right. Watch the twist be that this lady, she's not dead at all. She just ran away. If he hasn't found her corpse, right? Has he found her corpse or not? 
I guess he had the grave, but it may have been like a, an, a hollow grave or a shallow grave or whatever the fuck you call it. Where you make a gravestone for someone, but you don't actually have anyone to put in it. And it's more just like for your sake, for like remembrance and shit. Let's see. And as it turns out, she's actually like the Goblin Queen. And she used her jade or jeweled amulet, whatever it was called, to fund the Gabo or army. And she's going to war with the Gabos of Cropsford. Oh my god. The Gabo Spiracy is real. Oh shit. There we go. Ugh. There we are. It'll be like uh, that quest line in New Vegas, right? The guy who thinks he's a fucking ghoul. Oh my god, we need to uh, repair our stuff up. There we go. Good. And... Good, good, good. Let's see if we can swing at least a couple more times. Perfect. Dope! Alright, now let's repair. Whew! <laughs> Sometimes forget about that, huh? Alright. Grab that. What have you got, Gabo? <laughs> Look at this dude's face! <laughs> Look at his face from over here! Oh, I missed the Gabo Queen! Oh, her great heaving bosom! <laughs> Shit. Damn, they love the Gabo Queen. It's a shame we're gonna have to take her away from here. Alright, Goblin Shaman, what else do you have? Cure Poison. Grab some of this. Bunch of fucking heads. Oh my gosh, the Gobble Queen's wrath is immense. Alright, anything else around here? Maybe she eats people. Oh shit. It's just the go the cover of Gobbos. No goblins actually eat people and shit, right? That's all just a fucking lie. They just feed the Gobbo Queen. Oh my god. She's like a Kwama Queen, deep within, laying her... Gabo Queen eggs. Look, this rat you is scared as shit. Or going after the creamy man. One or the other. Or both. <laughs> Alright. Give this pick. What have you got for me, but <gasps> Garbo. Alright, fine. Look at this. Oh my god, what is this crap doing? <laughs> Alright, fine. And we've heard <laughs> this shit gets fucking wild, huh? Okay. Crab meat. What's in here? Anything good? Nope. Oh, look at this. They were serving something here. All right. Got some, like, gobbo punch. All right. Rat meat. Anything good here? Nope. This whole bunch of fucking lights hanging from the ceiling. Man, you know what? Pretty short, pretty low-hanging lights, right? You just bang your head on them all the damn time. I think only, like, Bosmer could fit in here, huh? Let's see. Certainly no, no fucking Nords or, uh, Altmer to... Be damn sure, jeez. Barely be able to stand up in here normally. Alright. Just like catch the hair on fire all the damn time. Everyone is required to be bald. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh. Bald Altmer. They don't exist, right? None of them exist! What the fuck? That's so true! Are there any bald Altmer? Are there any bald elves? Do bald elves even exist in the Elder Scrolls? Are there bald elves in Morrowind or Skyrim? <clears throat> No way! Do elves never go bald? Is that some, like, secret dark fucking magic? What the fuck? Do only the races of men go bald? Oh my god! I think so! I don't think I've ever heard of a bald elf! Can you be bald in ESO, even? I don't think so? Maybe, maybe through, like, uh, microtransactions or whatever the fuck. But I don't know if you can by default. Shit, dude, I have no idea. You might be able to have, like, a cut hair, like a haircut, where it's like, uh, you have some little seedlings going on. You have, like, a fade or whatever the fuck. But I don't think you can be straight up bald. No, there must be bald. There must be. We must have seen an elf with, like, the crown of power. Right? Surely. Surely we've seen someone like that. It, it, it's gotta be. There's no way elves are immune to baldness. There we go. Maybe all elves, they just think that the reason why men go bald and stuff is because all their hair travels from their head to, like, their arms and stuff, getting hairy all over the place. Arms, legs, crotch, pits, all that shit. Elves, they're fucking smooth as a baby's fucking butt. Alright, strong poison of separation, except on the head, weirdly enough. Oh, poor creamy man. Alright. Steel Dagger. Man, the Creamy Man was fighting! Look at this! Creamy Man was a fucking fighter! What a champ. Alright, anything else over here? Just a shitload of silver. 
Gobbles were pr planning on going to war with, like, other mystical beings. Had to craft up their silver weapons. <laughs> they were they were trying to fight back against the Daedra. Fucking Daedric invasion everywhere. Just decided to seize the... The old... Exhausted mine. That, it's, as it turns out, ain't so exhausted, huh? Alright. Anything else over here? Deeper we go. Jeez, what is this area called? Bottom section. Alright. Let's take care of this asshole. We still juicing? We still got some juice going on? Yeah, we do. Alright. Uh -oh. We may have just literally run out. <laughs> Poor management. Alright. Scroll down here. Throw on some common shit. There we are. Let's do another one. Good. Perfect. Ow. I love it. All right. And any second now. Good. All right. Jeez. All right. Here we go. Heal on up. And let's take care of this fucking gabo over here. Drink some blue. Just gonna assume the soul trap went off because he's still giving off some perp. Let's see. Throw this shit on. Take care of the old gabo lord. Eat shit. Gotcha. Shit, did I even get his juice? Yeah, I guess it didn't go off. Fuck me. Alright, too damn cocky, as it turns out. There we are. Got that one. And let's juice up there. Look at Gordon. Fucking chasing away the gabo. Alright. Eat shit. Good. Oh my god. All these gabos in here, they like jittering around a whole shitload. It's their secret last line of defense. Instead of shitting themselves as they die, or when they die, they just start fucking... <laughs> they just jitter all over the fucking place. Good lord. Like there's some sort of mechanical being. Alright. Chest, 87 Gs. Do a quick heal. Good. And what have you got? Silver dagger. No. Alright. Mine spent works. Alright. What have we got in here? Bunch of fucking random garbage that the gobbos are burning. Fucking A. Gobbles got no respect for wood. Alright. <laughs> Alright, anything else over here? Let's see... No, we got a staff. Alright. And grab all these potions. You know what? This is a good way to stock up on our potions. Ran out of the strong healing potions, didn't we? Especially with our health so high now. Run out of them quick if you want a full fill up. Oh, shit. Hit the gobble in the back. There we go. Take care of the man. Look at him fucking go! Alright, and let's see. Jeez, we are getting sh so many staffs. Look at this man on the right! <laughs> Shit! Alright, coming in for a fucking smooch! Alright. There we are. And let's see over here. Take care of you. Oh, shit! Yeah, what if this were another Goblin Gems case, right? Fuck me. It's happened before. It can happen again. We've seen- we met Goblin Jim! He didn't even have a quest associated with him. Fuck me. What was going on with Goblin Jim? Did he not have a quest? I don't think I remember doing it. It's just some fucking weird thing. It's a weird guy named Goblin Jim. Alright. Ugh. Fucking hey. There we are. Jeez, look at him go! Just <laughs> whenever they fall down. Alright. Yep. See, see if we can't make it happen again. Nope, nothing. All right, fine. Oh, jeez. All right, here, let's back away. Get Gordon out. Take him down. There we are. Good job, Gordon. Come on in for the kill. Hit him with the big hits. Almost got him, Gordon. Almost. Come on, Gordon. I'm, I'm trying to tank him here. I'm trying to tank him. Gordon, you just, you just gotta hit him. Just got him a few times. Jesus Christ, Gordon. All right. There we are. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, God. The shit must have worn off. Oh, jeez, Gordon. Okay. It's fine. Now, let's repair everything up. There we are. And we'll take this dwarven short sword. No, thank you. All right. 86 Gs. And let's see. Throw on some of these. Common. Cool. And where do you think these gobbos got dwarven items from, right? Shit, they must have, like, migrated from very far. All right. Grab some potions. I got any other staves around here? Oh, yep. Kind of blending in with the ground in some spots, right? That's how the ground texture is inside the cave. Alright. Got some dead Gabo here. Gabo Warlord. Lockpick, I'll take it, I guess. Okay. Cool. Is that everything up in here? There's a sack over there. 
All right, grab some of these, maybe. Nope. And we'll check out the sack. Sack full of shoes and pants. Weird. All right. What else is down up in here? Let's see. Oh, the Super Gabo Den. All right. Let's see. Draw out our weapon. Do a quick-ass heal. Do a quick-ass Gordon. Get a little paralysis at the ready. Good. All right. Look at that. Got a method to this. Good shit. Yeah, we need to be par paralyzing them even more, right? Build up our illusion. There we are. And what have you got? Anything good? No. Man, yo, look at all these people who are fucking dead as hell! Jesus! They could have wiped out, like, an entire city! Jesus Christ! How many dead people are in here? Oh my god! Let's count the rib cages. Two, four, six, eight, ten? Maybe twelve? Ten, maybe twelve? Good lord! Oh my god! Yeah, some towns we've been in, they don't have but fucking 12 people. Fuck me. And then we saw all the skulls earlier, but shit. Usually it's just the skulls, and it's like, oh, well, let's have some fun, and guess how many skulls are in here that the Gabo's wiped out. But in this case, fucking the whole body. All right. Fucking Gabo's really going at it. All right. And anything here? Just a whole bunch of these things grown out of the corpses, in fact. All right. Ugh, gross. You don't think... Man, maybe this is their shit. Maybe this is just like a pile of shit, right? Ugh. And they ate them. They ate their bodies whole. <laughs> they vored them. <laughs> the Gabos vored them and just shat them out. Oh, jeez. Man, Gabos kinky as hell as it turns out. But also just leave gigantic piles of shit Ow! right next to their leaders. Goblin Nether boss? What? What kind of a creature are you? Oh, look, you're only worth 800. <laughs> All right, fine. There we are. Take care of you as well. All right. Good. Good, good, good. Man, gobbles are easy as hell. It's gotta be said. All right. What have you got? Jade amulet. There we are. I've recovered Kayleen's jade amulet. I should return it to Korok at harm's folly. All right. Cool. And what about goblin warlord? Anything on you? Arrow of dispel. I guess we'll take it. Separation and lockpick. Okay. What a weird little place, huh? Alright, give it a pick. Good. And 60 G's lockpick. Okay. Man, yeah. I guess that uh, that gobble totally fucking ate the shit out of her. Shit them all out. Right there. I guess those gobbles were like living together and they had like some fancy jewelry on or something. They're trying to show off the, the jade amulet and all that. Because I'm assuming that gobble, the nether boss, was wearing that amulet, right? Fuck me. One of these in here is definitely, uh, what's her name? Mrs. Korok. Anything here? Just bone meal. Yeah. Shit. Man, gobbles are gross as hell. This is where they cook food, right next to their big shit pile. Good god, man. No wonder these gobbles don't know what the fuck they're doing. They got, like, a big-ass burnt thing. They should be burning their poop. Oh shit, there's a burnt person here. They try to cook someone? Jeez. These gobbles cannot be stopped. All right, let's see. Let's make sure we're going the right way here. There's nothing else. All right. Yep. All good. Gabo's completely wiped out. You know what? We make a point of them having killed like 12 of them, but also at the same time, how many Gabos did I just kill? I'm like wiping out entire like tribes of goblins, right? Fuck me. How many goblins have I killed in my entire life? Like shitloads of them. Just shitloads of goblins. They should know me by name. The fucking hero of Kavach, the Divine Crusader. Fucking. Gray Fox, Arch Magister. Watch out, Gobbos. I'm here to fuck ya. Damn. Alright. Let's head on out over here. Good lord. Yeah, this place is humongous. Alright. We should probably tell this dude that, uh, the mine is not very exhausted at all. I could make a killing just coming in here. Hire some people on, right? Pay them in silver? Or something like that? Oh god. I think I'm getting caught in this little cubby hole. Alright. And then. Take a left. Hug left. All right. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh, wait. Did we check this torn sack? Yeah, we did, didn't we? Yeah, we totally did. All right. Cool. Dope. Let's see. 
And where do we have to head? All right, over there. Yeah, we're marked. Well, that went uh, pretty well, I guess. What are these? Are these things I can pick? Oh, what are these little things? Little trees getting ready to sprout up or something. Oh, cool. All right. And where's your little farm at? There we go. Good. Oh, shit. Was that Nern root? No. I'm just tripping balls. Seeing these things as Nern root, I guess. All right. What's up, dude? I got the amulet. What news do you bring me from exhausted mine? Well, bad news, friend. Turns out your wife, she is definitely dead, but also I think she got eaten by a goblin, and one was dressed up pretending to be her. Unless you wanted to marry a goblin pretending to be your wife. I mean, if you want that, it's a little late for because I killed him. All right, avenge. Then it's finally done. The goblins have paid with their blood, and my wife's brutal slaying is avenged. You risked life and limb for a cause that wasn't your own. For that, I'm grateful. Please, accept these gems as a token of my gratitude. Okay. They're all I have left of value, but you must have them. I insist. Yo, you should check out that mine. It's pretty fucking good. All right, and just like the last one. Oh my god, flawless diamonds? Jeez, what'd you do with... How'd you have six of them? You will be included in my prayers forever. May the divine smile upon you. Oh, thanks. Jesus, man, dude was fucking loaded. All right. Huh. Anything else here around his house? I don't think so. All right. Let's see. Should we look up here? There might be something up here. Could be. Or maybe this is a, an area where, like, an Oblivion Gate could spawn in. Yeah, that would make sense, right? This seems like just a spot. Oh, yeah, we got a little road here. Huh. Where's this road go to? Hold up. Let's check this out real quick before we head on over to one of the Master Trainer quests. Do a drive-by on some shrooms as well. Huh. Oh, this goes pretty far out, huh? Does, is this eventually going to loop over to Silvertooth Cave or some shit? Jeez, look at this. This is quaint. Oh, what a gorgeous view, huh? Nice little vista over here. Oh, God. Have we been up here before? I feel like there's... Quite a few of these unmarked little roads that we haven't quite been on, right? Because more often than not, we're, we're just more keen to travel right through <coughs> the wilderness, huh? No sense in keeping to the road. It's not like you get some sort of move speed bonus. Jesus Christ. All right. Let's juice up here. There we are. Good. And let's heal on up. No need to loot bears. They never have meat. They're just completely hollowed out. <laughs> All right. Some sort of serial taxidermist from Battlehorn Castle. Just fucking managed to work some sort of dark magic on them all. All right. Oh, yeah, I guess it does lead over to Silvertooth Kit. No, not quite, does it? Or here we go. Yeah, look at this. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Another bear. All right. Ha! Eat shit. All right. Oh, my gosh. Bear's moving around like crazy. All right, and we kind of wasted our charge, but eh, F it. Let's see, whoops, no sense in looting them, right? Okay, we'll just come over here and unveil this on the map for later, right? Because I would like to get at least one of the quests done, especially the athletics one, because that seems like something that we may have to deal with. Right, it may be a bit of a complex requirement. Okay, there we go. Uh, someone else in here? Let's see. Jeez, some fucking birds screaming. Oh, this has got to be a Spriggins. Yep. Okay. Man, that bear is also kind of wigging out a bit. Jeez. All right. Oh, jeez. Okay, we got a few of these folks. All right. We get her? Yeah, we did. All right, good. Jesus. Oh, man, the bears are going fucking wild. All right. Throw that shit in there. And let's heal on up. Let's see. Get her. Jesus, bears just jumping all over the fucking place. All right, gotcha. And what have you got? Yep, toss that in there. Good. Whew. All right. And let's look around. Anything good? A little chest full of 1G. Mm. Pretty fucking bad. All right. Let's see. Heal on up. Okay, now let's head on over to the athletics training, right? If I want to learn more about athletics, I should find Rusia Bradus in Anvil. There we are. Have we spoken with Rusia before? Probably. 
We've been around a lot of places in Anvil, huh? We've, uh, we've seen our fair share of Anvil. <laughs> and then some, right? Fuck me. There's all sorts of weird shit going on in Anvil. Alright. You think they'll mind if we come in, uh, in the middle of the night? Probably. Okay. Let's, uh, let's wait here... Nine hours. That should be fine. Usually 9, 9 a.m. seems to be good for most, if not all, NPCs that we've had a run-in with, right? Should be A-OK. -okay. All right. Let's see. Open for business. There we go. Silgor Bradis' house. You'd think we would see have seen this person running laps around normally, right? Are you the person, Rusia Bradis? Is there something I can do for you? Yeah, are you the secret trainer, the master trainer of, uh, what do you call it? But first, tell me about Anvil. My husband is down south in Anvil County, working the Valenwood line, hunting down bandits and smugglers. Aren't, aren't we in Anvil County? What, what are you talking about? Tell me a rumor. Hey, you're the one they- Okay, and training. Well, you do get around, don't you? You've seen a good bit of what the world has to offer, which is more than can be said for most people. Okay. All right. I'll teach you what I know about athletics. Oh, wow. Maybe we can swap stories about life on the road. Huh. Okay, I guess that's... I guess we just got it because we've discovered a lot of different locations or something? Maybe that's the prerequisite? Weird. All right, let me see if I can't find it here in my notebook to scratch it off. There we are. And athletics right near the top. Scratch it off. Good. Okay. Cool. Good talk. Farewell. Do you have anything interesting up in here? No. I wonder if we can see her husband anywhere, right? Maybe he was that huntmaster, right? We we found some sort of huntsman. Handbill. Nothing in here to really clue you in on the fact that she may be some sort of secret master of running. There we are. And let's see here. Anything in this? We don't have to actually steal it, but actually maybe we should. <laughs> Oh, look, a sweet roll. Stealing that. And cupboard with some garbage. Chest full of two gold. Mm. Alright. Yeah, nothing much. Just a pretty uh, basic regular house, right? Alright. Let's see. Can we get her down here? Because I want to look inside that other chest, honestly. Alright. And let's just kind of shove her up inside here. Alright. Yep, check out the fire. Yep, it's so, so nice. Alright. Then, up here... Good. What have you got? An iron claymore. Weird. Huh. Yeah, I would have expected to have seen her, like, occasionally running around town or something at some point. Maybe she does have just missed it? Or have forgotten it? It's possible. Alright, fuck it. Well, that one was easy. Let's hit up the hand-to-hand -hand training. I need to speak with Helvia Cecia in Bruma about training hand-to-hand -hand combat. There we go. Yeah, let's knock out two of them. Bruma East Gate. Bam. Have a looky-loo around here. Alright, cool. Hello. Been a while since we were up in Bruma, huh? I guess, to be fair, a few of the main quests involve Bruma, which will explain why we haven't been out here very much. Alright. Helvia Cecia's house. Head on inside. Okay. What are you gonna have me do? Like fist fight a bear a gray or something? Fox protects you. Oh shit! No way, you're the guy? Is this where we met the gray fox? Yeah! Oh fuck! This guy was the hand to hand trainer? Alright. <laughs> okay. Wear the shadows well, fellow thief. Oh uh, yeah. Here. Let's talk about training. Training, eh? <laughs> the real question is can you fight? Yeah, man, I'm level 51. Fight. You know, throw a good punch. Can you? I'd like to find out if I'm going to spend time working with you. So you up for a sparring match? Wow, you want me to beat the shit out of you? I'll make it easy on you. I won't throw a single punch. I just want to see what you've got anyway. So is it a deal? Okay. Sure, all right. Okay. If I see you reach for a weapon, I'm calling it off. And if you can actually hurt me... I'll tell you to stop. What? If this goes on for too long, and I get bored, oh, I'll stop. Oh, this is a DPS it. check. Now, show me what you've got. If you get bored... Hey! What did I tell you about... Oh, fuck me! <laughs> That's it. We're done. No! Come on! No! Oh, jeez. Is it my torch? 
Hang on. Shit. It's wild that this quest expects you to just walk up to him with nothing equipped. Does this count? Does my shield count? No. All right. Right? I don't... Yeah, okay, good. Here we go. So, how about it? Are you ready to fight now? Yeah, let's fucking rumble, dude. All right, fight. The offer still stands. You show me how well you can punch, and I'll think about training you. All right. What do you say? I say let's fuck. Okay. If I All right, if this yep. goes on. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Ah! There we are. Do I need to do some power attacks on him? Ugh. Oh, shit. How about this? Backwards power attack? What's the one that paralyzes people? Is it the forward running one? I think it's one of the side ones, right? Can I just punch you into the fucking fire? There we are. Can I punch you midair? Oh, the Kirk slam. Oh, shit, I missed him. Look, I can't throw a punch at all. As it turns out, these power attacks are very difficult to hit against a small target like a human. There we are. That was disappointing at What? Best. I was hoping for more from you. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, my gosh. Is it because it's high difficulty? I may not be able to meet the DPS requirement? Oh, fuck. So, how about it? Are you ready to fight now? Yeah, I'm ready to fight. Hang on, let's try it the again. Offer let's just rapid punches. All right, let's go. Okay. If this there we go. And ah! boom. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Let's... Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. How can I... Oh, there we go. Good. All right, we need to hit him very hard, right? To be able to get him to stop doing his block. Oh, jeez. There we are. Fuck me. Oh my god. He's quite good. Alright. Jeez, maybe we've tried this before and failed. Should I just paralyze him or something and then punch the shit out of him? Good lord. Oh my god. Ugh. That was disappointing oh, at off. best. <laughs> I was hoping for more from you. Oh, jeez. Alright. Here. Man, he's not healing up his damage though, is he? So, how... All right, yeah, let's fight again. The offer steals. All right, here we okay. go. Okay. If this. He didn't say anything about spells, so boom, there we are. <laughs> Eat shit! Eat shit! Eat shit! There we are. Oh yeah. Look, let's just throw him inside of his fucking fireplace as well. Eat shit! You fucking a hole. There we are. Look at this. Oh yeah. How do you like that? Throwing a punch like nobody's damn business. There we go. Yep. Good, 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 good. Man, he doesn't mind that I'm using magic at all. Could I just, like, throw fireballs and shit at him? Or is he a Breton? He might be a Breton. There we are. Good. Yep. That was disappointing oh, come at on. best. I Jeez! Look, he does heal up a bit. Oh, shit. Whoops. All right. How's this for a punch? Oh, God. I'm going to expel from the Thieves Guild. <laughs> <laughs> All right, continue. Yes, Jesus. I All right. accept your surrender. All right, here. So, how about it? Fuck. Are you ready to We're fight now? We're just kicked out of the thieves' guild now. Fuck me. All right, cast out of the thieves' guild. I heard what you did. So did the guild doyens. You've been cast out of the thieves' guild. For fuck's Go sake. Go talk to Armand or Scriva. Pay the fine, and you'll be reinstated. This isn't the first time we've been cast out. All right, fight. The offer still stands. Let's see. Do we have, like, a fortify strength thing? Shit, we may need to, like, build up a fortify strength potion and just punch the shit out of him. All right. Okay. If I see you... If this goes on for too long and I get bored, I'll stop you. Now. Okay. Let's see. Actually, yeah, because strength caps out at 100 for damage, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Fuck me. How do we fight this guy? How do we do more damage? Does... Does hand-to-hand -hand damage scale upward with... Huh. With hand-to-hand -hand skill? Jesus, I have no idea. Here, let's just use magic on him. <laughs> Look, if he doesn't mind all this shit, may as well. Right? May as well. All right, yeah, let's paralyze him. They won't have anything to say about it. And then, let us just do some of this here. There we are. Yeah, I'm using my hands. What do you think of that? <laughs> oh, there we go. Look, I'm just gonna keep zapping his ass. 
There we go. Does this work? Does this work? Look, this is my hand-to-hand -hand attack. Isn't it a little shocking? That's right. Have you ever fought a Dunmer in hand-to-hand? -hand? As it turns out, it's electrified. Not bad. Wow! Not bad at all. <laughs> okay, you've definitely got some potential. I'll teach you what I know. <laughs> He's still glowing with electricity. <laughs> Fuck me. What a wild ass thing. Okay, great. Thanks, Helvius Cecia. Take care. Thanks for kicking me out of the guild too, you fucking asshole. <laughs> All right, shit. Well, I suppose when next we come back, I will have gone to Armand Kristoff and reinstated myself in the guild. Cause I'm pretty sure this is not the first time, right? Pretty sure this has happened before. I'll just pay the fee and all that good shit. However, good afternoon. if you'd like to stick around, we will be doing just a little bit of reading and what is next on our super duper list of shit to read, but let's take a look here. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. Here we are. Let's see. What have we got? Huh? How about the, the seed? Let's read the seed. Here we go. Yeah, this is one of the ancient tales of the Dwemer, which are... its It makes it seem like there's multiple parts and it's a proper anthology, but there's only certain parts that exist, right? So it's kind of impossible to read in order, and I think they're all self-contained. All right. The Seed. Ancient Tales of the Dwemer. Part 2. By Maribar Sewell, who we met in Morrowind. The hamlet village of Lorique was a quiet, peaceful Dwemer community, nestled in the monochrome gray and tan dunes and boulders of the De Geist. No vegetation of any kind grew in Lorik, though there were blackened vestiges of long-dead trees scattered throughout the town. Candida, arriving by caravan, looked at her new home with despair. She was used to the forest land of the north where her father's family had hailed. Here, there was no shade, little water, and great open sky. It looked like a dead land. Her mother's family took Kamdida and her younger brother Nevis in, and was very kind to the orphans. But she felt lonely in the alien village. It was not until she met an old Argonian woman who worked at the water factory that Kamdida found a friend. Her name was Sigerth. Er... Sigerthi? Sigerth? Sigerth. And she said that her family lived in Lorik, centuries before the Dwemer arrived, when it was a great and beauteous forest. Why did the trees die? asked Kamdida. When there were... When there were Argonians only in this land, we never cut trees, for we had no need for fuel or wooden structures such, such as you use. When the Dwemer came, we allowed them to use the plants as they needed them, <laughs> provided they never touched the haste, which are sacred to us and the land. For many years, we lived peaceably. No one wanted for anything. What happened? Some of your scientists discovered that distilling a certain tree sap molding it and drying it, they could create a resilient kind of armor called resin, said Sigerth. Most of the trees that grew here had very thin ichor in their branches, but not the haste. Many of them fairly glistened with sap, which made the Dwemer merchants greedy. They hired a woodsman named Jodine to start clearing the sacred arbors for profit. The old Argonian woman looked to the dusty ground and sighed. Of course, we Argonians cried out against it. It was our home, and the haste, once gone, would never return. The merchants cons reconsidered, but Junin took it out on his own. Uh, to break our spirit, he proved one terrible bloody day that his prodigious skill with the axe could be used against people as well as trees. Any Argonian who stood in his way was hewn asunder, children as well. 
the Dwemer people of Lorik close their doors and their ears to the cries of murder. Horrible, gasped Camdita. It is difficult to explain, said she there, she, she jerth. But the deaths of our living ones was not nearly as horrible to us as the death of our trees. You must understand that to my people, the hist are where we come from and where we are going. To destroy our bodies is nothing. To destroy our trees is to annihilate us utterly. When Junin then turned his axe on the hist, he killed the land. The water disappeared, the animals died, and all the other life that the trees nourished crumbled and dried to dust. But you are still here? asked Kamdita. Why didn't you leave? For us, we are trapped. I am one of the last of a dying people. Few of us are strong enough to live away from our ancestral groves. And sometimes, even now, there is a perfume in the air of Lorik that gives us life. It will not be long until we are all gone. Camdida felt tears welling up in her eyes. Then I will be alone in this horrible place with no trees and no friends. Oh, wait. Is this... Hold up. Yeah, this is... This is... This is Shijer she, talking again. Then I will be alone in this horrible place with no trees and no friends. We Argonians have an expression, said Sigerth with a sad smile, taking Kamdita's hand. Or maybe that is... I have no idea. That the best soil for a seed is found in your heart. And then she ripped out her heart. Kamdita looked into the palm of her hand and saw that Sigerth had given her a small black pellet. It was a seed. It looks dead. It can only grow in one place in all Lorik, said the old Argonian. Outside an old cottage, in the hills, outside town. I cannot go there, for the owner would kill me on sight. Like all my people, I am too frail to defend myself now. But you can go there and plant the seed. What will happen? asked Kamdita. Will the hist return? No, but some part of their power will. That night, Kamdita stole from her house and into the hills. She knew the cottage Sigerth had spoken of, her aunt and uncle had told her never to go there. As she approached it, the door opened, and an old but powerfully built man appeared, a mighty axe slung over his shoulder. What are you doing here, child? he demanded. In the dark, I almost took you to be a lizard man. I've lost my way in the dark, she said quickly. I'm trying to get back to my home in Lorique. Be on your way, then. Do you have a candle I might have? She asked piteously, uh, piteously. I've been walking in circles, and I'm afraid I'll only return back here without any light. The old man grumbled and walked into his house. Quickly, Kamdita dug a hole in the dry dirt and buried the seed as deeply as she could. He returned with a lit candle. See to it you don't come back here, he growled, or I'll chop you in half. He returned to his house and fire. The next morning, when he awoke and opened the door, he found that his cottage had his cottage was entirely sealed within an enormous tree. He picked up his axe and delivered blow after blow to the wood, but he could never break through. He tried side chops, but the wood healed itself. He tried an upper chop, followed by an under chop, f to form a wedge, but the wood sealed. Oh my gosh, he's doing all the movement and attack <laughs> input combinations. <laughs> um, 
Much time went by before someone discovered old Junin's uh, emaciated body lying in front of his open door, still holding his blunted, broken axe. It was a mystery to all what he had been chopping with it, but the legend began circulating through Lorique that his sap was found on the blade. Shortly thereafter, small desert flowers began pushing through the dry dirt in the town. Trees and plants newly sown began to live tolerably well, if not luxuriantly. The hiss did not return, but Kamdita and the people of Lurik noticed that at a certain time around twilight, long, wide shadows of great, bygone trees would fill the streets and hills. Publisher's Note this seed is one of Marabar Sul's tales, whose origins are well known. This tale originated from the Argonian slaves of southern Morrowind. Marabar Sul merely replaced the Dunmer with Dwemer, and claimed he found it in a Dwemer ruin. Furthermore, he later claimed that the Argonian version of the tale was merely a retelling of his original. Lorik, while clearly not a Dwemer name, simply does not exist, and in fact, Lorik was a name commonly used incorrectly for Dunmer men in Gore Felim's plays. The Argonian versions of the story usually take place on Vardenfell, usually in the Telvanni city of Sedrith Mora. Of course, the so-called scholars of Temple Zero will probably claim this story has something to do with Lorcan, simply because the town starts with the letter L. <laughs> Shit. That's pretty good. And honestly, I was about to say, fuck, why not, right? It's, it is definitely very similar, right? Lorcan and Lorique. Huh. I quite like that, right? And of course, it plays into the general fucking terrible racism of, uh, <laughs> of uh, the Dunmore folks of Vardenfell, and in general, right? <laughs> what can you do? Fuck me. Terrible times all around. Like I said, when next we come back, we will have been reinstated into the Thieves' Guild, hopefully, if I remember, and we'll be off on our way for another uh, weird, dumbass side quest. And also, I'll probably... No promises, but maybe I'll have gotten myself arrested by murdering some poor innocent dude. <laughs> some uh, some other guard out in out by Bruma. Well, maybe not by Bruma, because we still have business in Bruma, but some other town. There's probably a guard we can just take out. Until next time, peace. <laughs>